channel this morning we gotten up pretty early we're gonna head out to a friend of mine that uh, is gonna let me borrow his uh, lift so I can go ahead and put my uh, my aero package on the Corvette um, I'll give you a little more information about it when we're when we're actually there we've got about an hour hour and a half drive to get up there um, to a really pretty area up there in Browns Valley California so we're going to take, hop in the car, take a little drive up there, throw it up on the lift, and, and I'm going to show you what it's, what's entailed in getting the, uh, getting the spoilers put on the car. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and you're watching the Corvette Channel. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Uh, I've got my good friend Terry here. Um, I talked to you earlier in the video that we were coming up to his house up here in Browns Valley. Uh, it took us about an hour and a half or so to get up here and um, we're about ready to go ahead and pull the uh, pull the Corvette into the shop and um, Terry's uh, he his primary thing that he retired still kind of kind of doing it uh, on the side, but he builds race cars. And so, what better person to be able to have somebody with that knowledge to be able to help me get these things on the car? Um, he's never really been a body man by by what he <laughs> says, but some of the work that I'll show you later, I've, he's got some stuff here that will knock your socks off. But uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and pull this thing into the shop, get it raised up and uh, we'll get these, these spoilers put on the car. Okay, so before we get started here, I wanted to go and show you all of what came in the kit. Uh, some of the things, majority of it I should say, came in the kit. Part of it I had to go down to AutoZone uh, and purchase. And I just wanted to go over that where you kind of know what you're up against. Um, the side the side splitters they actually came with the two-way stick tape as you can see right here for the inside edge uh, where it's going to meet up with the body um, and then the the front splitter itself um, it came with the winglets right here this is a stage two arrow kit and it came with the winglets but it did not come with the um, the two-way stick tape or the bolts that are needed to be able to put the si the little side winglets onto the front splitter, and those go those go over here. Um, so I had to go down to Ace Hardware and um, pick up some uh, some bolts. Wanted to make sure that I got some that were, you know, that were done professionally, nice and clean, and painted, and that they were they were tapered so they will be smooth. Um, when you know when they're on the car, so they're not sticking out and possibly catch something or catch somebody's leg or something like that. Um, so I did that with um, with some lock nuts and washers there, so those will not come off. That you'll see in the video that we're going to actually uh, we're not going to drill pre-drill the winglet uh, wings themselves until we've got them attached to the spoiler. Uh, just so we get a, a perfect drill uh, all the way through. The kit did come with instructions, and it came with all the other mounting hardware, the self-tapping screws, rivets, uh, all that type of stuff. So you will need to have a, a rivet gun. And um, while I was, I went to Harbor Freight and bought a rivet gun, and I also bought some extra rivets in case I see that we need to add an extra rivet here or there. But from what the instructions are showing, it looks like this should be more than enough hardware to put this thing together. So uh, the next step that we've got going on here is that we've lifted, as you saw in the earlier part of the video, we lifted the car up and we've got, got ourselves some clearance here. Um, so we can go ahead and get, uh, we've got our jacking puck here and then we added a little extra piece of wood to give us a little more clearance so when the skirt is in here, it's not gonna be hitting on the jack. Now, depending on how you do this, if you do it on the ground, then you're gonna be having to use two smaller uh, you know, floor jacks to be able to tilt the car up, which it's doable, but a pain in the butt. So if you have access to a lift, um, like Terry's been gracious enough to let me use his, um, then 
you know, that's, that's all, that's just going to make your life so much easier. So, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, um, we're going to wipe this, the, all this under, under part of the body here down, uh, with some degreaser and cleaner and make sure that all of this is totally nice and clean. So, um, so that the stick tape will stick. Okay. Um, and on this particular kit, we're only having to pull one screw out, uh, which is our guide screw. And we'll pull that one out, and then the rest of it will actually go right along this bottom of this, of this edge of the rocker panel. Um, once that gets on, we've got it stuck in place, then there's more bolts or, or more bolt holes that we're going to have to drill into the bottom of the body. Um, and um, that's, that just goes along with any of the kits you're going to find. You're going to have to go into those. Um, unless you go with the factory, uh, the factory ones that are a lot more expensive, um, then those curve underneath the body and use the existing holes. Um, I don't know the exact cost, but I'm going to say there's probably at least a thousand, two thousand dollars difference in between the costs of the, of the, uh, panels that I have here and, um, and what you would be buying from the factory. So moving up to the front. We're going to have to clean all of the underneath of the bumper here, take all of these bolts out. We're going to have to take this, this little, uh, skirt off here on both sides. And then we'll put the, we'll put the, uh, the splitter on. And then it calls for a whole bunch more screws and some rivets to be put into down below here, um, to be able to make it super, super tight and secure as well as, a, as a bunch of different pieces of strips of, of two-way uh, stick tape here uh, to keep the, uh, the air from being able to get in between there and to be able to make it nice and rigid. So we wanna, um, we're gonna be doing all that. So we're gonna have the uh, cameras running. We'll try to uh, talk through what we're doing and uh, be able to give you some heads up or any pointers as this isn't rehearsed, so you uh, you may see us have an issue here or there, and that's just going to be part of putting them on, but hopefully it'll be something that will keep you from making the same mistake. All right, guys. Um, so what I'm doing here is I have some, some cleaner that I actually used from uh, when I did my ceramic coating on the car, um, and this is called uh, uh, Gion Prep. And um, this is a... It's an oil and wax and grease remover, and it worked really, really well when I did, uh, I mean, you can use other things, but when I did the ceramic uh, coating, this just wiped it right off, and I didn't have to fight with it. Plus, it smells nice, so <laughs> believe it or not. So it doesn't hurt anything, it doesn't hurt your paint, um, but it sure, with just a little bit of wiping, um, you know, I had to drive the car up, you know, up here today, and it got stuff all over it so it makes it really easy it doesn't really matter if you overspray it it's not going to hurt if you have a ceramic coating on it already it's not going to hurt anything um they clean the wax off it takes takes the wax right off mm -hmm. yep and uh what terry just asked was does it take the the wax off um yes yeah, so if you have wax on your car it's going to take it off and um so it's a really good tool to use if you want to get a really good, clean, new wax job. You know, maybe your, your paint's kind of faded and you want to get down to the bottom and start over. Um, that's a good way of uh, using this stuff too. Um, it's, uh, I don't remember it being real expensive. Um, there's a couple, you can buy the smaller bottles of it. Um, but uh, I don't remember it being very expensive. I want to say it was about $20 for this bottle. And I have used the crap out of it. And uh, I still have a whole bunch, uh, bunch left. Because it works really well. And it works really easy. Which is, um, that's half the battle. So, and I'm just wiping it all off. Making sure that we are going to get a good bite with the... Uh, you know, with this, the two-sided stick tape that we're going to do when we put this this uh, skirt on. Which you can see I'm not having to really fight anything. It's coming right off. And um, 
and it makes it look really nice and clean again. So what you're going to need on this one is uh, the screws on the bottom of the car are seven millimeter. So on this one, we're we're just going to utilize the uh, it was this one here, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're just going to take this screw out. You know, if you've got a if you've got a power drill, you can do that. On this car, there's not that many that need. I think this is like the only screw to get it originally mounted. We've taken the screw out, and you can see that uh, what we're doing now is that we're, we had already done it once. We're doing it again. Uh, we've pulled the screw out. We're going to set that one screw into the sp side spoiler, and then it'll be able to sit across these arms here. Um, and then we'll be able to peel the tape off. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to... We've already checked this once, but we're going to do it again, is we're going to put this one screw up in there and make sure that it fits in there fine. And then all the tolerances that it comes to right where it belongs, front and back, and that we don't have to do any additional drilling. Um, I've seen and heard about some of the, uh, the Japanese overseas uh, uh, spoilers um, that are coming into the, the country that uh, the holes don't match up. So you want to make sure that they do before you, and you get it lined up just right before you, one, stick it to the car, and then you start drilling holes into the car to make sure that, you know, it's going to, it's going to stay and it's going to look right and it's going to fit. So, um, so we took the one seven millimeter screw out. And, uh, so now we've got, we've got the spoiler here. And all we're going to do is we're just going to take, there's this one pilot screw here. We're going to put that up there like so. And we're going to put it down in here. And we're going to screw that up there. So now that's pretty snug, and as you can see here, that lines up pretty darn good. I mean, that I don't think you're going to get much better of a fit. But I have seen this in some of the other pictures where this will be like way out over here, or the exact opposite, where it's back and it's sticking into the back wheel well. So this right here, you couldn't ask for a better picture. Now I'm going to show you that on the, on the other view, where you can see right here. Terry's got that perfect, and you can ask for a better, better fit. So all we're going to do now is we're going to take and we're going to release that screw back in the back, and we're going to peel the two-way stick tape through the whole thing, and we'll we'll put it all all up there and get it stuck. Then at that point we'll go back through the bottom, and we'll we'll uh, drill the the holes into the body of uh, the bottom of the rocker panel which will secure it and it'll be there forever. So, yeah, I'm just going to start peeling this tape back going toward Terry. I can get it to start. Yeah, we can take it out like this. and twofold. They put a protective covering over the protective covering. So the white tape is just a protective covering over the 3M protective covering. So here's the actual the actual tape itself. Paperbacks, so and nobody will see that. All right, so I'm going to start on my end, and then Terry's going to find his corner there in a second once I get this one dialed in.
You don't want to over tighten these things. Snug, great. You go too tight and you'll crack the fiberglass underneath it. So are we close up there, Terry? Yeah, we're good right here. And I just go in the middle right there. Let's see. Yep, that looks pretty good. Alright, and up we go. And believe it or not, that feels really it just stopped again. I don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, so all we've done is we've just gone ahead and we've pulled the tape back and we have just pushed it up against the body after tightening this one pilot screw. Okay, and that looks nice and tight. And it's feeling very, very rigid. I'm really surprised even with just the two-way stick tape. Yeah. And it lines up really good. You can see here. So now at that point, what we've got... Let's go up with it a little bit. Okay. Terry's going to lift it up a little bit so we can, we can show this a little bit better. So now what you can see here, let me see if I can get my tripod adjusted correctly here. I need to come back just a hair. Alright. So now what you can see, and we've got rivet holes now. So we've, we, at least we've got it so we know where everything's supposed to be. So we've got, a, uh, we've got our screw holes here all along the body. So that's all we're going to do is we're just going to be going through and we're going to be putting screws, you know, self-tapping screws into this. Okay. The screws start, but then we're going to hand tighten them down so we're not uh, over stripping them out. I'll tell you guys, when I first started, I decided to start doing these how-to videos, it's kind of hard to be able to figure out how to do the, the how-to while you're doing it at the same time. So it's nice to be able to have, have Terry helping me with this. I can actually hold the camera and be able to show you guys a little better view as he's doing the work. Um, so you can see here that we're utilizing, uh, you know, self-tapping screws here. Um, there's a couple other ways of going about it. You could, you could drill the holes and you could, um, you could put rivets in, um, but this, this body seems to be very strong and I don't think that that's going to be a big issue as far as, uh, um, it holding, especially with the, uh, the amount of, uh, stick tape that's on there also. Um, if you ran into a problem, I guess, you know, we would have to, uh, change, you know, one of them out. A, a rivet or something like that, but I don't think that that's really going to be an issue here. So as you can see, those are pretty snug. It's not going anywhere. Let's check them. Back. And the whole purpose of doing these by hand is that you're going into fiberglass, so you don't want to be, you don't want to be, you know, getting it all, uh, you tighten it down too much and you'll crack the fiberglass. So, that one right there is pretty much done. You want to lower it and kind of see? Sure, sure. So, we're going to lower this down. And move cameras out of the way here.
There you have it. Looks like a glove. And you can see right there the reason that we needed to be able to put the wood block up there to be able to get some clearance. So what we've done now is we've pulled the seven millimeter screw out of the bottom of the, of the rocker panel. And we made sure that it lined up. And so now what we're doing is we're just removing the backing tape off of the stick tape. Peel that little guy all the way back. And then we're just putting the screw in. Sure it all lines up and again we want to make sure that this isn't too far forward or too far back or anything okay and it happens to line up just perfect so so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start that screw and start to tighten her down and Scoot her in just a hair. Okay. Let's go and start working at that. Yep. And then we're just scooting her up and pressing the tape up against the body of the car. like that. So we're just raising the car up now so we can get underneath there and we can put the screws in like we did on the other side. I'm going to bring the GoPro over here so we can see what we're doing. So now you can see this was our pilot hole. This is our starting point. And we're just now we're gonna go we're gonna go into our holes here. Again. You don't want to get too carried away with a screw gun because you'll end up tearing the, stripping all your fiberglass out. So, using the self tapping screw is great, not a problem. Then you want to snug them up with the screw, with a regular screwdriver. Okay, so you can see here, those are pretty well on. They're snug as a bug. And we really don't lose much, even though in the look of the car, when you're looking at it on the ground, it looks like you lose a lot of clearance. But from what I'm seeing, you're not losing a whole heck of a lot. It's just extending the body out past the rocker point so you get that wider stance, but you really don't lose any clearance. Very, very little. And the biggest thing that I see that you're going to have to do to them is just be aware of them when you're getting in and out of the car. That you're not, Step. not stepping on them.
So what we did is um, we cleaned the bottom of the of the bumper and then we went ahead and we're just test fitting this and all we did we just took the the small little skirts that are right here uh, the little air dams on the, each side we took those off um, and then we are just now test fitting this just to see if the screw holes actually line up and they they have the side skirts they lined up perfectly and it looks like these are lining up just fine also so here's our factory screw points and the few that we've actually selected to put on there are all matching up. So, looks like we're going to be good with that. So now that we've got our test points done, we know that all we have to do now is we've got to put a bunch of stick tape, the two-way stick tape, up between our splitter and the bottom of our, of our bumper. Um, and that what that'll do is that'll keep from any of the air reaching in in between there and trying to cause enough downforce that it could break this this, this splitter off. Um, so I was having a problem with my first video when we first put this on, and it looks like it uh, kind of got uh, <laughs> didn't film. But you can see right here that this is going to. I mean, it looks like it fits like a glove. Um, so I think it's going to be just fine. I think it's going to look really great. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this little guy down now and we're going to just pull it off. We're going to put some stick tape on the bottom of the bumper here and then we'll get all of these screws tight and then we'll come back. As you can see, we've got to come farther forward here uh, with some smaller, uh, some more additional screws. Uh, and rivets along the way that gives us going to go into the front of the bumper to keep it that much more rigid and keep it from being able to pull down. Um, and then once we do that, then we'll be able to put our our side skirts back on the little uh, little air dams on the bottom here, um, and um, she should be good to go. What I did here, and I almost made a mistake with this, I caught it. Um, is we I ended up having to swipe a couple pieces of the stick tape. Uh, because I forgot we still need to mount the winglets. So, and we're, you know, 20 miles away from the closest uh, dealer that's going to sell any of this stuff. So I wanted to swipe a little bit off there. This just makes it easier in the last part of our part of the filming uh, or the installation um, that we're going to actually stick the winglet onto the end cap of the, of the spoiler itself and that allows us to get it lined up exactly the way we want it before we drill the holes. So we needed to be able to have a little bit of stick tape left just to be able to set that in place. So we've got it now. We've got that sitting off the side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, peel the sticky tape off and then we'll move it over to the car and then we're going to go ahead and put in all of the original factory screws that we put in or that we took out I should say and uh, get it primarily mounted and then we'll go back through and we'll put in all of the additional screws and rivets that we need to put in to finish the job. It's hard to do with no fingernails. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so. I had a razor knife run or something. So now, Terry, we since we have since we've you know made these mistakes on this one, we'll know what not to do with yours when we do yours. That's why we're doing yours. I know. <laughs> Terry actually has a silver uh, 2014 Z51, just like mine. They're equipped identically the same, uh, except he had one option done because he bought his new. He had one option added to his that uh, a lot of us would love to have had done. He had the privilege of being able to do a museum delivery, um, so that was uh, that was pretty cool. Um, up in his house, he's got a, a nice framed build sheet and a special edition coat that, they, that he got with that, and 
nice little perks there. That's the build sheets all framed up and you know special plaque and all that type of stuff. So not something I get to do this time around, but maybe on my next one, who knows. All right, so we've we've got the uh, the tabs, all the tabs from the stick tape removed. Now what we're doing is we're going to start these in the center here, and we're going to work our way out. Yeah, let's see, that should be good. Uh-oh, I just pulled your screw out. These two started, then we can go to the outside edge. I think. There we go. And this should get it so it's. Yeah, let me take this. Yeah, so far so good. Line up all right. Yeah. Some of these are longer than others, so we want to use this long one for the outside edge because of the, uh, the spoiler that we're going to have to, our little trim spoiler. Use another long one. Yeah, this one's a short one. And a long one. And again, you can see we're doing this all by hand. We're not using a machine to do it. Just making sure that everything's going to fit up there nice and nice and snug. But yeah, we're not stripping anything out. example Terry was talking about where the plastic gets gets pushed up there and then the screw can't grab it I was able to pull it down so you might have to do that just be aware of you know of what you've got here there's a bunch of different pieces of plastic that are just kind of mixing and matching together so you know you shouldn't have to shouldn't be really hard I mean it might be a little bit stiff um, but it shouldn't be hard to uh, to do this. Right, I want to get this long one out. This one here can be a short one. Get this long one. Okay. There it goes. It grabbed. Okay. I would just tighten them all up. Everything looks good here. Ooh, I just moved the camera. <laughs> And again, you realize that you're, you're working with fiberglass here. It's not the flexible rubber. So, you know, you want to get these, you want them tight, but you don't want to, and this is what I'm doing it by hand, is that you don't want to over tighten it so tight that you end up cracking the fiberglass. So I highly do not recommend using the screw gun to do this. Um, it's not worth it to save a couple of minutes to end up you know, wrecking your, you know, your $400 uh, splitter um, or more if you've decided that you're going to, you know, go the more expensive route. 
Now, if I thought for one minute that this was not going to look good and it wouldn't look look professional or look hokey in any way, I would have never gone, chose to go the, the cheaper route. Um, so, uh, you know, I really feel that these look nice. And this is one of the things that I promised you guys when I started this channel is that I was going to try to get you, show you how to do things, do it to save some money. Um, and that way you could have some of the nicer things without having to go and spend so much of the money that a lot of these guys are charging out there. So, um, um, and it's, that one there would leave off, Scott, so we still have to put this piece yeah. in there. Yeah, I just want to seat it just for okay. for the tape. Okay. And then, um, I did the other side already, too. Okay, so... So we've got all that all nice and tight. And Terry, would you mind lowering it down so we can just take a look at it real quick? Just gonna grab the GoPro here and I'm gonna get you guys see what, what we've got. if you could get a better fit. Okay. So Terry's just putting on the, the side spoiler here, or the air, little air dam that sits in front of the tire. Uh, we weren't exactly sure if what we needed to do with the way it, way it uh, we had to get it out of the way to be able to get the, the splitter on. And then we thought we might were going to have to cut this little piece, but it looks like we're not going to have to at all. It looks like it just bolts right back in place. And um, so he's, he's screwing that one back up there. And then we're going to tighten up the, we'll do this one and then we'll go to the other side. And then we've just got some some more self-tapping screws that we've got to put into the front here for the additional holes that they already have pre-drilled into the uh, into the splitter, and that just assures it that it'll be just that that much more tight. The center screws. Yep, we're just going to put the screws in it now. And then we'll be done with the bottom part of it. And then the only thing that we have left would be just to um, mount the winglets and then drill the, the holes through it so the winglets are on there nice and tight. So the kit came with two different ways of doing this. One is to do the self-tapping screws and the other one was to do rivets if you wanted to do rivets. Um, we thought about it and we chose to do the screws for the simple fact that since I am a do-it-yourselfer and I like to be able to do things and I've had to take the, 
the front nose off a couple of different times for whatever various reasons, I wouldn't want to be trying to uh, drill out a bunch of, uh, about a holes, um, or drill out a bunch of rivets to be able to get my front bumper off. So, um, decided to go with the screws, the screw option. So with that, we'll be able to, if we needed to, we could pull it back apart. As you can see, he's not snugging them down. He's just getting them started, getting them almost done. And then we'll go behind it with a screwdriver and we'll snug it up. Being there, it ain't going nowhere. Yeah, so like Terry was just saying as I started the camera, with that stick tape on there, this, I don't think the spoiler's going anywhere, but he's now sn snugging up these screws. Um, so um, yeah, we've got a couple more that we need to put in, and those might be those might be the ones that we might have to put a ribbon into. We'll have to play with that. Okay, so we were looking at a couple of the screws here um, that we thought we might have to use rivets for, but actually it's not because it was factory, uh, like the the clips, the plastic or the metal clips in there that catch it, and he was just going in at a little bit different angle. It didn't feel right. Once we got in there to look, it was the screws went right up in there and locked in. So. So we were able to not have to go with the with the, uh, the rivet way of doing it. So, so now that's what she looks like from the bottom. She's all completed. So now at this point, I think what we're going to do is we're going to lower this down, and we'll get the winglets uh, adjusted uh, to where we want it with the six the two sided stick tape, and then we'll go ahead and we'll drill it into the sides. At that point, we'll be finished. Terry and I were we've been playing with on on this as far as how to put the winglet on and This is this is Terry's preferred method of doing it where The way it's sitting where this edge here has got the taper to the outside edge and That it's sticking out here, and it's rounded into the inside as you can see like there now This is all just a matter of preference Whatever as far as I'm concerned um we were sitting there going back and forth. They both look nice, but I tend to like it where the outer edge is is a rounded edge and that it tapers over here to the inside and where it's a sharp edge on the outside edge. So this will be something that you want to think about before you do it. Um, and we'll probably would be scooting it, probably scooting it farther forward so it's closer to the, the edge of your, there you go, like that. And it's, um, so this is where you really want to think about how you want it to look and you want to make sure that you're going to have tire clearance and all that stuff. So that's the beauty of just sticking it on at first and then that way we can make sure that we've got, we're not going to, the tire's not going to catch it, nothing's going to, you know, it's not going to look funny and then we'll go ahead and we'll drill it. So obviously, yeah, not a problem on that side. And then going onto the inside edge, so yeah, really not, a, not a problem, not a big deal. So yeah, so this, this will make it nice. And so we're going to use this, the stick tape, we'll stick it on there. We'll see how it looks. And then once we're happy, then we'll go ahead and we'll drill the holes. I'm not sure what we think about that. Oh yeah. We're doing that. That's, that's not a problem. Well. Yeah. And that's not a problem there at all. Okay, that feels smooth all the way across the bottom. It's got to go like that. That's where it's got to sit. Yeah, there, right there. It's, it's going to go like that when it's bolted down, it'll tighten like that. Yeah. No, what I was wanting to make sure is we had this meet. piece meet the bottom of the other piece. Yeah. yeah. So that looks like, looks like that's where she's going to land, right there. Well, I'm going to drill a pilot hole. Okay. So looking from my angle, you can see here that he's going right through 
and he's gotten straight through it. So he's, he's going right through both pieces and he's caught, caught a dead center. So it's perfect. We've got meat on both sides. And so now at this point, we just are going to, um, yep. You know what, if I put my glasses on, <laughs> it might come out a little bit better. Well, then put two pair on. <laughs> put two pair on. <laughs> okay, so what we got going on here is it. Terry's now used a beveler and he's beveled the holes a little bit so that these the counter name is countersink. Countersinking, okay. So he's countersinking the screws into it so they're not sticking out and gonna snag a bunch of stuff. And you can see that that looks pretty darn good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just go ahead and go underneath here and we're just gonna um, tighten them up, tighten up the the bolts here. Okay, go. It's like that's starting to flex a little. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Good deal. So now we'll go to the other side and we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then uh, we'll obviously have to put the side skirt back on. You want to put it on right now? Sure. I'm going to go and put that one on. So like I said, all I did is I just cut a little bit off of here just to make clearance for the new bolt. And um, that's pretty much all that I had to do. So we'll just get that. Oh, yep, I got it. That was really good. Uh, there you go. So you don't want to do that. <laughs> that this way bolt's right up, it's not in the way. I didn't actually cut any of this piece at all. It was all up in the top part, so um, it was just a little bit of extra trim that I cut off of here. When I had the drops today. It's cold out here, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little cold, isn't it? I think when I pulled up here, we were at about 50, 55 degrees on the high ballpark. Right, anything below 70 is cold for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this side is done. Okay. So we're going to move on to the other side. And then, uh, and then he's going to drill that, that next other hole there. I had already removed the air dam. You can see it's hanging down there. And uh, he'll drill that out. And then he'll go ahead and uh, use his countersink tool to go ahead and uh, or drill to um, uh, make it so we can countersink those, those uh, anchor bolts into it. Um, probably would have taken a lot less time than we've done uh, if we were doing this and not filming it and trying to show you guys how to do it. But, uh, um, but overall, simple. I mean, and not uh, um, it's not rocket science. You just want to take your time and and uh, be careful. That's about it. You don't want to get too carried away. Kind of giving him the eebie-jeebies a little bit on doing this. Uh, I don't blame him. I don't want to go through. <laughs> but uh, I told him, worst case scenario, we always have to get some different screws. Uh, no big deal. But it looks like it's it's uh, working really well. All right. And like I said, I trimmed this side also.
then my friends is that and it uh, looks pretty darn good it really came out nice so we've got we've got everything tightened back up everything's put together and don't think you could have a better fit just really really looks good Hopefully this video helped you guys. Um, whether you were thinking about doing it and was just afraid of putting it on, you, um, or you know you just don't have any idea on how it needed to be done and you are about to buy some or already have and not sure whether you want to pay somebody to do it or not. Um, not real, real hard. And this can be done on the ground, but it's just so much easier, nicer, cleaner. Uh, to be able to do it um, up in the air and again I want to thank Terry for helping me do that and allowing me to use his lift and be half the labor if not more of, of doing it while, I'm, while I was filming it so um, again uh, once I get it on the ground I'll you know get a little footage of the before and after so you can see the differences and um, so hopefully you liked the video, hope you um, found it informative and helpful, and uh, if you did, be sure and hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you'll be alerted to the next videos that I do. I know I was putting out a pile of them there for a while, and um, I was just got busy with the holiday season, got sick, wasn't feeling so great. So um, we'll have a few more projects we got going on on this one, as well as the uh, my 92. Uh, so um, there's a lot more to come and if you guys have any ideas uh, you know I've reached out a few different times about different ideas for things some of it I can do some of it I can't do um, and a lot of it um, you know uh, detailing and washing cars and all that type of stuff I don't mind doing that stuff either uh, but I prefer to do that type of stuff in the summertime so um, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you tuning in to the channel and watching this stuff. And uh, like I said, if there's something that I can help you with, reach out to me. I'll try to answer your questions. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a good time. <laughs>
of their logo and their Facebook and all of their contact information. And I just wanted to give them a little bit of shout out on having good, high quality parts um, that went together great. And I'm like just really, really happy with it. So um, I was going to go ahead, like I told you in the earlier part of the video, that I was going to go ahead and include, um, uh, show you some of Terry's cars. This video ran extremely long, so I didn't want to, uh, you know, tie it up that much longer and make it where it ends up way over an hour. We did go, we did some great, uh, hopefully, you know, you, you have learned and been able to see all the steps that we did to put all the stuff on and, and instead of just grazing by it. So hopefully it was worth your time. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, put out another video um, right after this that will, uh, that will include... Uh, showing uh, Terry's cars off, and uh, there's there's a lot a lot of stuff there. He's got three or four different cars that I wanted to show off, and so um, those that video will be following right after this one, and um, and then we've got some other stuff coming up again. Like I said, uh, there's some things that uh, has uh, we've got a, a um, washer windshield washer wiper <laughs> a reservoir for the 92 Corvette uh, that needs to be replaced um, that I've got a leak and I went ahead and I ordered another one and so we're going to take take it apart and change that out um, and there'll be some other stuff that's coming up here soon but anyway I just wanted to let you know that it's not uh, not in this video but it will be in the following one okay thanks for watching you have a great night Thank you.